Here's a picture of the uh, idea I have for making my tilt-up mast. What I have is a metal base plate that bolts down to my uh, existing concrete plate. And then I have a two-inch elbow, uh, sorry, a two-inch T with two nipples on either end and two caps on them. And what I did was I welded down the nipples to a couple of support bars that raised the whole thing up. And as a result, what I have is I have my T raised up above the plate about an inch, something like that. And uh, it's all set up to be waterproof. I'm going to drill some holes in the bottom of this. And what this does is my mast will slide over this tube. This is two inch pipe and I put this on here as a sleeve to fill up some of the gap. But here's how it works. It just turns up. One side gets uh, looser, the other side gets tighter. But there's plenty of room here for a full 180 degrees. I won't be using 180 degrees, but I have it. And the idea is that the mast is very solid left and right, and it'll be very, very, very stable. I've been using DX Engineering, and they work pretty good, but for these 50-foot mast antennas, I needed something a bit more robust. So this two-inch pipe is way solid. And of course, it gives me a, a real solid base. Now I'm gonna have to make it a little waterproof and stuff, put weep holes in the bottom so it can drain out in case any moisture gets in the top. But we're working on all of that. So that's where we're at. And this is my approach for a solid base for my tilt-over tower. Enjoy.